Did you know humans are hardwired to respond to stories? Storytelling is a powerful way to engage and hold your audience's attention. We're going to show you how to tell a memorable story by introducing storytelling into your presentation. Learn how to storyboard your presentation so when you sit down at the computer, all the conceptual thinking has been done. A great presentation does more than deliver information to your audience. It makes them sit up, pay attention and takes them on a journey. It leaves them thinking about your message and wanting more. As a presenter, you want to connect with your audience as quickly as possible. Storytelling is a great way to do this. It can draw your attention in with something they care about, establish common ground, create intrigue or stoke their curiosity. This is because our brains are hardwired to process and store information in the form of stories. Storytelling appeals to the emotional and imaginative right side of our brain, the side of our brain that loves a good story. And a compelling, persuasive story will influence hearts and heads. In contrast, data appeals to the left side of our brain, which loves logic and facts. It's important to include this information in the body of a presentation, if appropriate. But don't open with numbers or stats unless it's a highly relevant fact, in which case you could pose it as a question. Did you know that NBC News recently did a study and found that 75% of people suffer from a fear of public speaking? The audience will be intrigued and you can start building your story from there. So, who is your audience? This is the time to do your homework because telling a memorable story means knowing your audience. Ask yourself the following. What do they do? And why are they here? What is important to them? How can you relate on common ground? What do they want to learn? Or what problems do they want to solve? Basically, what's in it for them? And then ask yourself. What do you want your audience to know? And what do you want your audience to do? Understanding your audience will help you communicate in a language they relate to and it will help you outline the clear benefits and actions for your audience. Storytelling is presenting your audience with a narrative they can relate to, a story that will capture their hearts and minds and importantly, their attention. Think of your favorite TED Talks. A well-told story sticks in your mind for years to come. A story is usually based on three parts, a beginning, middle and end. The beginning of a story hooks your audience's interest, establishes common ground and builds engagement. Consider the story you want to tell and the strongest way to introduce that story. You might open with a question, share a fun or fascinating fact, or talk about a personal experience. Some speakers begin with a problem so the audience can mull it over while the speaker explains the problem in the middle and then triumphantly solves the problem at the end. Remember that novelty and intrigue will spark curiosity in your audience. And an issue or experience they relate to will help you find common ground. The middle of a story will take your audience on a journey as you discuss challenges, opportunities and changes. It can help them imagine a new and better future, to learn information in a way they will retain and to keep them engaged. The end is where your presentation concludes with the key takeaways and lessons you want your audience to remember. Every memorable story has a good ending, so make this a clear and strong conclusion. You could recount your opening for the audience in light of what they have since learned. You might leave them with another question to think about or recommend what action they could take. Another approach to storytelling is the hero's journey. It's a technique used by some of the most viewed TED Talk presenters. The goal of the hero's journey is to inspire and empower your audience to take action and make change. It might be a personal story or an imagined experience, but you're going to take your audience on that journey. In summary, a unique idea calls your hero to adventure. They experience challenges and complications on their journey, but are ultimately victorious. The idea is adopted and the world becomes a better place. The end. Now you've got a good idea of the arc of your story or hero's journey, it's time to storyboard it. Storyboarding is a great way to visualize the structure of your story and organize your ideas so that you cover the key points, stay on course, 
and deliver a logical and engaging presentation. It's a way to plan and develop each point and visual in your presentation. Here's how to storyboard your presentation. First, grab a pen or pencil and some sheets of paper. Write a list of the main points in the narrative of your story or presentation. Then, write one main point or concept at the top of each sheet of paper. Beneath that, you write your notes and sketch the visual you could use to support it. Now, don't forget, one of the golden rules of presenting is to use visuals that supplement and support your story rather than repeat what is being said. You might draw a chart or graph to represent data. You could add in a video if you're pitching a new brand or commercial idea. A video can also tell a story within a story, entertain and appeal to your audience's emotions. Other visuals you might use are a series of icons to depict different concepts you're discussing, professional headshots of your team, or simple, concise text. What if a particular point doesn't need a visual to support it? Don't leave an empty slide, as your audience may think your presentation is concluding. Instead, you could add in a logo or photograph as a way to hold your audience's attention. You could always just use a keyword from what you are saying. One word on the screen can be very powerful. Once you have your slides mapped out, arrange and group the sheets of paper to create a logical, intuitive structure. Now that you can see the structure of your presentation, it's time to fine-tune it. You want it to be as engaging, logical and purposeful as possible. So, does everything support the point and purpose of your presentation? Does it build a logical narrative? Do you need to add or remove any information? Or move any information earlier or later in the sequence? It's also a good idea to include a sheet of paper between groups of information. This will act as a divider slide, a place for you and your audience to rest and take a breath. Telling a memorable story is not only engaging for your audience to listen to or watch, but it can involve them in an interactive way. Making your presentation a two-way conversation by asking your audience questions, opening discussion or taking a survey are great ways to hold your audience's attention and for them to retain information. This lesson has introduced how to tell a memorable story and how that story will help engage your audience and hold their attention and imagination. It has also introduced you to storyboarding so that all the conceptual thinking is done when you sit down at your computer for the next step to lay out and design your presentation.